Okay, hi Jennifer. Um, first of all, I would like to ask you. So, why did you want to publish your work, uh, with Context? I love Context. Uh, I've been a big Context fan really since the magazine first started. Um, I use it a lot to teach, and I think it's a really great way of disseminating research findings in an incredibly accessible way. Mm -hmm. And so I knew if I published something in context on this particular research project of mine, that it would actually reach a really wider audience and compel me to write in that accessible context style. So I was really very excited to uh, have it land there. Mm, great. So uh, now let's move on to your own piece. Okay. So would you please walk us through your main argument and what do you want your readers to take away from your article? What we do in the piece, uh, Jennifer Sherman and I use her concept of class blindness. Mm -hmm. So when people, uh, usually people in positions of, of privilege and power, are not really attuned um, to the reasons that uh marginalized populations struggle with a lot of the social problems that they do because they're not living through those experiences mm -hmm. to try to explain how class blindness, the tendency to rationalize social inequality by saying things like, well, it's bad choices, right? These moms shouldn't have children that they can't afford. This is why this problem exists. Um, whereas we were trying to reframe that. No, the question that we ask a sociologist is not why do people have kids they can't afford, um, but why have we created a society where having children is so unaffordable for so many people? And so we're using this concept of class blindness and applying it to the social problem of diaper need um, to try to understand why it's been invisible for so long. And it's it, one of the reasons it's been invisible is because the people who experience it um, are not in positions of power to bring attention to it or to do things like past policies that would address it. Okay. And the final question is, how do you think your ideas are relevant to the broader reader? I think that the case of diaper need is a really good example of how there is a tendency to individualize social problems mm -hmm. and the ramifications of that. That if we start to see these larger social structural issues that really do have structural causes, Mm -hmm. um, we have to see them as structural issues before we can start to envision more structural and social solutions like electing people and voting for people who do see things like diaper need um, as, as a social problem uh, that's worthy of policy redress. So I think it's very relevant in that way.